As you read in the title, I have five books here that I wanted to share that I have found to be inspiring. Now, I am an avid book lover. I love to read. I love to have books around my house. Bookstores are some of my favorite places to visit. So these aren't the only five books I have. These are my five books that I recommend to be inspired or encouraged in your homemaking. So let me show you what they are. So the first book that I have to share with you is the book that I read that really helped me understand that a little bit each day helps to chip away at those problem areas. I read this book at the brink of me trying to figure out how to conquer the chaos in my home and to get a little bit done each day to overall get rid of those problem areas in your house. And so this book is called Having a Martha Home the Merry Way. And I really love it. It's by Sarah May. Um, I really love this book because it has, if you know about the Bible and Martha and Mary, they were sisters. Mary liked to see, sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to him as he taught um, the disciples and um, different sermons and things like that. And then Martha was more of the person who was making sure she was more of the hostess. Let's say that she was the one cooking and cleaning and preparing the home, preparing the meals for the disciples in Jesus. And so having a Martha home, the Mary way is basically a devotional, um, helping you reflect and to use scripture to really guide how you are running and cleaning, running your home and cleaning your home. And then there's the Martha challenge at the end. Um, so there's a few chapters just to kind of introduce this concept to you. Um, and then, that's it. let me get to like day one. So there's like a prep day um, of the things that you're going to like collect and do to get you ready. And then day one, you're going to have like a short little just like devotional reading, some scripture to read. Um, this reading for today is Deuteronomy 30. 15 through 16. This is the Mary portion of the challenge is the devotional part, asking, reading the scripture, answering the questions, really just causing you to reflect and focus um, and how you're going to run your home. And then there's the Martha challenge. So it says up here, put a load in the wash, something I recommend do one load of laundry every single day and then um, cleaning your kitchen and it has like some tasks that you're going to do to clean your kitchen and the way it does it it's like it's going to focus on the kitchen all week so it's getting that deep clean and you're focusing on one area in your house for an entire week and breaking it down to where you're doing a little bit each day so I really love this book I still clean my house inspired this by this um, I don't do it exactly the same way but I do still break areas down focus on certain areas in my house and this is the book that taught me it so this is one of the books I say to start with and then I have glimpses of grace by Gloria Furman and it's about treasuring the gospel in your home and this is more just helping you focus on what needs to be done and having the right heart to do it. Um, and just as homemakers, we do have a lot of burden. We have um, a lot on our plates to do. And this is just talking about what to focus on, how to get it done, focusing on the right things. I thought it was a really good book. It definitely has makes use of scripture, with the, which I love. Um, and... I am actually currently reading a book about preaching the gospel to yourself um, and just how it applies to every area of your life. And so I really do like this book. Um, I like that it focuses on the gospel in your home. So this is one that is really encouraging and just kind of helps you reassess, so to speak. So this one is a good one if you need to just kind of be encouraged and refocused. And then I love this one. I'm um, actually rereading it. I actually really love this book. It really inspired me. It gave me some just insight because I, the way I was running my home before was about um, ease and efficiency. It wasn't really about loveliness or 
anything like that. I had a lot of like, it was a lot of like hand-me-down stuff. So I was just making do with what I had, but um, not joyfully. Okay, so I read this book. It's uh, The Hidden Art of Homemaking by Edith Schaefer. And it's Creative Ideas for Enriching Everyday Life. And it just talks about how you can really enrich your home, enrich your life by focusing on things a certain way um, and how adding loveliness to your home is such a gift to your family and to you. And it just gives you different ideas. Like there's, <laughs> there's some illustrations. I love the illustrations. But there's just like some illustrations here. Just some fun stuff. Um, but if you're wanting to be inspired in making your home lovely or ways to make your home lovely, um, here's another one, like food. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're just looking for some inspiration and in how you can make your home lovely or um, to create just more beauty and joy, a place you want, you, you know, cultivate a place with creativity and fun for your kids. This is a super good book. I'm rereading it, like I said. Um, there's just some great takeaways, so I highly encourage this book. So this book is like a 31-day challenge, kind of like the um, Martha Home, the Merry Way. And it's not, it doesn't have like the devotional and that kind of thing. But this is just ways, this is just a book about giving you creative ideas to um, embrace the home that you have, to be more organized, and to just delight in the home that you have and creating a home that you love. So um, this one is more of like just practical ways. If you're not one to... If design isn't really your thing, or if you're like me and you just weren't raised to make your home lovely, um, or to have things that just bring you joy and, and loveliness and things like that, then this is a really good book to give you some practical ideas of how you can just bless your home and bless your family. So this one is called Love the Home You Have by Melissa Michaels. Um, and it's simple ways to embrace your style, get organized, and delight in where you are. So this is a good one for you if you just need some inspiration and ideas to organize and make your home lovely. And then this is the final one. Um, so this book isn't really about homemaking per se. It's more about just you as a woman, as a homemaker, as a godly woman. And this book is called Disciples of a Godly Woman by Barbara Hughes. And I'm not going to lie, this book took me a few times to read and get through. It was not an easy read. Um, when I picked it up the first time, it was during a time I didn't really want to have to kind of face some stuff or be convicted about stuff. And that's probably where a lot of the lack of interest in reading it came in. Um, and then I just felt really convicted and I really wanted to read it and understand you know, godly characteristics and what that looked like for me as a woman, especially in marriage and parenting, um, and really wanting to embrace my role in those areas. And so I picked it up and I read it and it was so good. I feel like there is not a chapter in this book that's not like outlined, um, like starred, outlined. Um, I don't know if you can see that that good, but there's just so much meat and goodness in this, um, especially not being raised in the church, not being raised by a godly woman, or even having godly influences or mentors in my life, um, up until obviously the point I'm reading this. <laughs> uh, so it was really helpful for me to just get that insight. I really felt it was like a mentoring ship, like a mentor program kind of thing that I went through when I was reading it. Um, and it was just so good and I just remember just like devouring this book um, and so I really thought it was good but some of the disciplines that it's talking about 
So you have discipline for godliness, discipline of the gospel, discipline of submission, discipline of prayer, discipline of worship, discipline of mind, discipline of contentment, discipline of propriety, discipline of perseverance, discipline of church, discipline of singleness, discipline of marriage, discipline of nurturing, discipline of good deeds, discipline of witness, discipline of giving, grace of discipline, and then it has some resources that you can read um, uh, that she mentions in here, like hymns for your devotional time, praise psalms for your devotional time, recommended reading list, and different things like that. And um, I still have the resources um, portion uh, bookmarked because I still will go to it at times from time to time. Um, and this is, like you can tell, it's been kind of beat up and used it's been used and cherished and so this is my final recommendation i think that is a really good one obviously you want to start in the bible um, and i have some great resources for studying the bible getting into the bible and stuff like that um, because everything that you can come against every question you have is in there the answer is there um, and god's word is alive and active it does not return void so you will find the answer for whatever you're looking for. I feel like these books just kind of um, break all of that down, give you insight and practical advice for what that looks like. I hope that you guys found this um, video helpful and gave you some insight to some books that you can check out as far as homemaking goes. Um, if you are interested in checking out one of these books a little bit more, I will go ahead and link them down in the description box so that you can check them out further. And if you do decide to purchase one, I hope that you love it as much as I do and it gives you as much help and insight as it did for me. Um, if you guys like this video please hit that thumbs up because it really lets me know what kind of content to create for you and if you're not subscribed yet please do because i don't want you to miss a video if you have some ideas that you'd like to see me make a video about i would love to hear about it in the comments down below um if you've read one of these books and loved it or have something um, that you would like to add to my book list then definitely leave that in the comments i love to read and i love a good helpful book and um and being inspired with new ideas so please leave it down in the comments if you have a book that you think i would really enjoy based off of what i shared today and as always friends happy homemaking and i'll see you in the next one bye